Like Brass Ensemble, Brass Solo was recorded in the same space at uh, St. Paul's Church in San Francisco. And for the ensemble, they recorded the 32-piece section, and solo, this instrument here, features the work of the soloists that they also recorded. Now, before we get into that, I have in front of me the quartet, which has single articulations for, well, it's a quartet, <laughs> single articulations for each instrument. That's in its piano setting. It's particularly mellow. As we go here, forte is a little bit louder. It shares a, the same interface as the ensemble and indeed the rest of the symphony series. So the big super knob in the middle is the same. And these things, these all these other settings are the same. See previous videos with the brass series. Brass ensemble, rather. So here we are with forte. Now, I have to be careful because right now I am using a CME X key, and the thing of it is their key travel is very short, so just a little bit of pressure is making those those trumpets really blare out there. Blare, blast. <laughs> Play exuberantly their notes. So if I were to come over to my keyboard, <clears throat> Full keyboard. Oh, we gotta go up here. Okay, now that's still pretty loud because, well, it is the forte setting. Um, and so we're going to hopefully. Uh, there we are. Now using the X key to do the articulation, so. Forte. the articulations with which we are familiar. All right. And then we have our, our very fun repetition uh, section here where we can go. And that would, of course, be a little bit more exciting if we pick the staccato. to turn it back on and then we could set it to three times we can push this up to 16th note okay let's make the last accent I like that You get the idea of what's possible with these articulations and of course we have our tightness which is the start position we can make it very soft stabby plucky stabby and we 
could just, again, being extreme, we could make it very accurate like it was. And we can change the attack. Oh, what happens if we change the attack and the tightness? The attack is uh, hardness, softness. Okay, so... Almost a side chain effect. You get the idea we could go on <clears throat> but I think now we are eager to hear the solo parts of the actual brass solo so we will start as we should with a trumpet now this section we're familiar with is called the effects and that is simply because it is all the cool effects that you can do with these instruments for example And these are cool because you don't find these a lot of times in many of the libraries that, uh, that uh, do different uh, instruments. So let's go ahead and change that to our fall fast. So I'm going to reach up here. Gives kind of a jazz feel, which is nice. Um, and we got to fall slow. Uh. <laughs> that was like a horse. All right. Okay. And our next one. Okay. And as usual, we have the playback where we can do natural or very, very speed. Right now it's on, well, it was on natural, but it's very speed. I can make it go really fast. For different effects. All right. Yeah, see, that was D sharp zero, so let's go to E. We have our flutter. Our trills. All the sounds from your old uh, old westerns and other things. Jazz. Big band. I'll stop before I throw out something that it's not actually in. <laughs> F sharp. So that was F sharp zero. And then we have G zero. It's just breaths. Very subtle, very quiet uh, sounds. All right, so that's our effects. And then we have our trumpet expressions. So, Fort Sando, which we're familiar with. We have our Fort Sando mute. Like the decay on that. We have our Fort Sando slow. Swell, medium, I love the swells because they're rather symmetrical. Slower swell. 
tongue stop. And then, and then that's it for this one. Now we move on to the trumpet legato, and this is there's only one articulation, and that is true legato. The rest of it is empty. And so we can come over here. Because it is legato, you can only play one note at a time. If you want to play duet, and they can only be certain intervals apart, case fifths and then we have a repetition as usual and of course our vibrato moving on to the staccato articulations Staccato with triple tongue, with a tongue stop, with the cup wah, I suppose if we hit very speed we can actually make that faster. That's what I was trying to go for. All right. The Harmon mute. As you can see, the Red Robin is adding variation uh, to each of our articulations. That way it's not, you know, the same same sound for each each time you hit the note. That's what adds an extra layer of realism, something I like about these libraries. So now we have our staccato SDR mute. Not to be confused with our our uh, Harmon mute. And then we have our mute triple tongue. And then we have our staccato forte. Once used that in a cover song that I did. Wait, that was that was the last one, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Trumpet sustain. Starting with piano. Did you know a trumpet could play this low? to the middle again. Cup mute. Harmon mute. Almost read like. Our STR mute. I don't know if that's string mute or strut. I need to look that up. But it, they all have different feelings. And then, that is it.
for the sustain articulations. As we go over to the trumpet, <laughs> this will have a collection of each of those articulations, starting with sustain forte, sustain str mute, sustain harmon mute, staccato velocity. Staccato triple tongue. Sounds like something maybe for a piece like uh, Bugler's Holiday. A nice swell. Our fast swell. Oh, that was a Fort Sando before, I apologize. And then a swell. And then we have our tongue stop. And that is our trumpet section. <clears throat> so as we move on to our horns, go ahead and make this one go away. Open up our horn expression, part one. Triple forte blast. Fort Sando fast. Forzando, I the hopefully I'm pronouncing this right. <laughs> slow, Forzando slow. Swell fast. Uh -huh. Swell slow. And that's it for the uh, for this one. The horns have a, a bigger sound to them than the trumpet as one would expect. Here's our legato. breath hold just trying to get to that vibrato all right next we have our staccato staccato piano staccato forte and so if we put it back to the, the piano and put that up very cool very very broad sounding uh, instrument so we go now to our that was horn number one so horn number two so these are the the horn one horn two positions i'm thinking Sustain piano, sustain mezzo forte.
Anyway. Thought I had a little something there. It kind of fell apart at the end there, but we're on our mezzo forte. And we go to our forte. From there we have just horn one, which will have a collection of the different sounds, as we would expect. train horn. Then we have our horn number two and it goes through the same articulations. Except for this trill. That's new. have a trill spin. Interesting. This is where it starts getting fun. <laughs> it's like a Doppler effect, but it's, it's just being stopped. And then we have our triple forte blast. That could be a car horn. <clears throat> a very broad sounding car horn. Very, very th thick resonant brass I can't think of other adjectives for it uh, anyway now this is a solo legato Staccato. With forte. With the stop mute. Triple tongue. Ooh. Okay. I think the range shifted. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah, so horn two or second horn is lower, as we can see here. And then that's it with our triple tongue. Next, we have our horn sustain, as we expect. We have piano. Our forte. Mezzo forte. Then Forto. Stop mute. Oh, I like that. Sound of the mezzo forte. Let's crank the. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, that's our intensity, which we just cranked, as you know. And horn simply horn two, which should be all the collections. Alright, 
and then our horn effects. So. <laughs> Sweep down up, sweep down up, sweep down up, sweep up. <laughs> Fail on that last one. Okay, so sweep, uh, we had sweep down up, sweep up down, trill, very cool, bend stopped, <laughs> breath, All kinds of breath articulations there. Valve clicks. Ooh, sounds almost like a coin going into one of those machines that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then our valve cleaning. <laughs> and they included that just for fun, I think. So that was our horns, horn section of horn soloists. Now we come to perhaps the most mellow one, the trombone. Although these effects will probably not be mellow. Okay, fall slow. Again, like the Doppler effect. They have a Fort Sando slide. Ha! Sounds like when people go and whistle, Woo! I, I can't do it. <clears throat> I can do this. Okay. Our sweep up. Oh, it's four sound again. Okay, sweep up. I want to hear how high it can go. Okay, crackles a little bit like, like, I was going to say a good exhaust. <laughs> no. E zero. Oh, that is cool. Okay. And then. Oh, yes. Add a little grit to that sound. And so we move up here to the expression. Typical forzando, slow, of the same. Fast swell, slow swell. Tongue stop. And that's it for that one. We go on next to the legato. And that's the only articulation.
We could just go on forever with that. Next, <laughs> because we won't go on forever, we have the staccato. That's so we're at our piano, now our mezzo forte, velocity, piano, mezzo forte, forte. What's the difference between forte and velocity? Triple Forte is definitely a standout. Tongue stop. Triple tongue. And that's it for our staccato. We move on down to the sustain. Piano setting. Piano meaning very quiet. If you, if you had, if you wanted to know the precise term, but you can kind of hear what it's doing. We have our mezzo forte and our forte. And then we have our trombone, which will again be a collection of those sounds. Starting with our piano, of course, and then our forte, and our staccato velocity, triple tongue, and then our tongue stop, and our forzando, and then our swell. Our staccato triple forte. And that's it for our trombone. Next, the tuba. And I like it because we're getting straight into the effects right out of the gate here. Ping high. <laughs> nice. They have some crazy sounds they can make. I wonder how they produce that sound of the sweep down hold. And we have the down ping. Use that for so many things. That could be, uh, well. <laughs> Sweep down staccato. I was not prepared for any of these sounds, to be honest. Uh, we have a sweep up hold. Sweep up staccato. Very staccato, very brief. This is the valve. Then our warm up. Oh, this is cool. Some of the ensembles had warm up sounds too in the ensemble section. Series section of the series.
very, very nice. So now we have our expression. Forzando. Slow version of that. Crescendo. Fast swell. Slow swell. And that's it for that, for the expression section. And then we move on to legato tuba. Doesn't go any higher. Only one articulation for legato, as we've learned, and then we have our staccato. In piano form. Forte. stop double tongue as we heard already and that's it for the staccato and then we have the sustain which is just one two settings piano and forte and then simply tuba Not an awesome <laughs> I'm wobbling my finger. All right, so that was our staccato. Then we have our double tongue. Tongue stop. Forzando. And then fast swell. And then our Fort Sando slow. And there it is for our brass solo. Now next time we'll get into our woodwind solo. And if I were to give you a brief preview of that, it would be something like this. As we'll see next time it opens up with this quintet just like the brass opened up with a quartet so until next time